Here are thirty heads who come under the zodiacal sign of Aries and whose seals are to be drawn in red color. Figure 25, March, 1 degree Aries, this intelligence is very active and impulsive. It is distinguished by an extremely strong wit. It is very learned and cannot only supply the magician with facts of general knowledge, but it can, above all, make him acquainted with excellent methods to influence his memory in a favorable manner and to increase his power of intuition. Apart from this, Mort may help the magician with inventions of any kind in a decisive manner. He is a ruler of the fire element, with the help of which he can bring about marvelous effects. Mort can inform the magician about any questions which are connected with electricity, no matter whether they have to do with electrotechnics or with electrophysics, or whether astral or mental electricity, the so-called electric fluid is meant. Figure 26, Malacca, 2 degrees Aries, has the same qualities as Mort and brings about the same effects. On top of that it teaches the magician how to move about in the kingdom of the salamanders and how he can operate with the powers of fire on different planes. Furthermore, the magician may learn from Malacca in which way certain states of trance can be brought about with the help of the fire element. If the magician wishes it, Malacca can charge for him elemental volts for special purposes and transfer them into the Akasha principle of the zone girdling the earth, which, in consequence, have their effects on the physical world. Should the magician ask for it, Malacca will be pleased to place at his disposal suitable familiar spirits with high magical activity and magical faculties. Malacca can give good advice in respect of alchemy, i. e. he can procure prima materia for the preparation of the great elixir in a dry process. Many other things will be revealed to the magician by Malacca, if the former is able to get into contact with him. Figure 27, Ekgilon, 3 degrees Aries, can initiate the magician into the magic of love. If desired by the magician he can change hostility into friendship and secures for the magician the favor of very important persons. This intelligence is able to charge magic mirrors for special purposes, for instance to make the kingdom of salamanders visible in the mirror, and the like. Since this head is well acquainted with all magical rites. He is able to offer the magician various special hints with regard to the magic of evocation. Figure 28, Lurchy, 4 degrees Aries, can be most useful to the magician in all love matters. He can also protect and strengthen the magician's existence and if it is necessary, Lurchy helps the magician become rich by showing him means and ways to reach this end or by the direct help of his servants. Figure 29, Espedit, 5 degrees Aries is a very fine intelligence and secures the magician's luck in games, competitions, bets and so on. Dexterity in one's profession, in art, etc. can also be achieved by the help of a spadit. Figure 30, Naisler, 6 degrees Aries, this intelligence will help the magician to become a talented writer or it will make him acquainted with the methods by which he may quickly and easily develop this talent within him. This intelligence may also help him greatly with literature and art. Figure 31, Opolagon, 7 degrees Aries, this head is a custodian of magical secrets and may reveal to the magician many practices, rites, and so on, for his personal use. Apart from that he informs the magician in what easy manner he can get into contact with beings of the moon sphere. If the contact with a polygon has once been established, then one is able to roam the moon sphere by his personal assistance or by the help of his subordinates and get into touch, in a special manner, with the beings of the moon sphere. A polygon teaches the magician how he can practice mental magic in the moon sphere and have direct effects on the moon sphere by the beings of that sphere on our physical world. Figure 32, Ramara, 8 degrees Aries is an excellent master of magic and shows the magician how to achieve special magical faculties by suitable methods, prevailingly ritual and magical formulae, and how to apply these. Figure 33, Animal, 9 degrees Aries, this intelligence has special control over electromagnetic fluids. It teaches the magician how to load electromagnetic volts for special purposes, and if the magician demands it, it will by itself create such volts, transfer them into the Akasha principle and have their effects work on either the mental, 
astral or physical sphere. There exists no problem in the zone girdling the earth which could not be solved by an Amil. The magician can ask this intelligence any question and he will have it answered instantly by way of inspiration. Figure 34, Tabri, 10 degrees Aries, this intelligence allows the magician to glimpse into the deep secrets of the water element, and in its analogies. It draws his attention to each of the magic practices and methods and shows him also, by the magnetic fluid of the water, how he can bring about various effects on himself as well as on other persons. If the magician wants it, then Tabori causes the effects by himself or by subordinates. Tabori will also give the magician special instructions, for instance, how he can, without much effort, get into contact with beings of the water element and how he can safely deal with them. Following Tabri's orders, the most beautiful Undians are at the magician's disposal. From this intelligence the magician may also learn how to calm spirits of the storms, how to stop thunderstorms and how to tranquilize a rough sea. Figure 35, Igigi, 11 degrees Aries, this head teaches the magician how to get power over men and animals. At the same time he shows him how to dynamize magic formulae so that they have a specially strong effect. Figure 36, by Arload, 12 degrees Aries, the magician will learn from this intelligence how he can procure magical authority. He is taught how to use the powers of the earth zone at will, furthermore the method of changing base metals into pure metals. The magician with a specially strong disposition to magic may get this intelligence so far as to bring about the transmutation of the metals by itself. By Arlode also introduces the magician to the magic of the sun, that is the magician is taught how to make conscious use of the powers of the sun in the mental, astral and physical plane on a magical basis and also how to protect himself against negative influences of the sun's fear during his mental wanderings there. Figure 37, Apillon, 13 degrees Aries, is capable of assisting the magician in all operations either personally or by his servants. He can furthermore instruct the magician in any field of science of the physical plane, that is, he can grant him knowledge. Figure 38, Chirikro, 14 degrees Aries, this intelligence also can by himself or by his subordinates help the magician with all his operations on the physical plane. Moreover it can make him eloquent and sharp-witted and at the same time teaches him how, by means of the Akasha principle, he can rouse this faculty within himself as well as with others. Figure 39, Golog, 15 degrees Aries, this head is well acquainted with any field of science in our physical world, and there exists no problem which he would not be able to solve. Golog is regarded as a great philosopher and exposes the synthesis of philosophy to the magician by intuition and inspiration. Figure 40, Argilo, 16 degrees Aries, this head assists the magician, theoretically and practically, in all questions of love and friendship in the mental, astral and physical plane. The magician may have all his demands in this respect fulfilled by this head. Figure 41, Barnal. 17 degrees Aries, like Argelo, this intelligence is well acquainted with the art of love and is an expert in excellent practices which make one win the favor of friends and enemies of both sexes. Barnal gives the magician special instructions and makes him acquainted with special methods in respect to the magic of sympathy. This head not only places at the magician's disposal good beings from his own region, but also enables him to get into touch with particular beings of the air which otherwise are very shy of the earth and therefore hard to contact. Barnal is also an expert in music, and if the magician desires it, he inspires him with musical compositions, provided the magician is basically interested in music. Figure 42, Cern Polo, 18 degrees Aries, assisted by this intelligence the magician can quickly develop his talent for languages. San Polo also helps the magician improve his position in life and gives him methodical instructions how to make practical use of the magnetic powers within his range of effectiveness. Figure 43, Hyris, 19 degrees Aries, is an expert in the magic of water with regard to the elements, to the magnetic fluid, and to bring about effects with these powers. Hyaris can reveal to the magician many possible influences by the element of water on our physical world and, 
Apart from this, let him know special secrets and give him special instructions regarding the realm of the Undines. Figure 44, Hahadu, 20 degrees Aries, is not only well acquainted with the magic of water, but he can also, due to his special faculties, give the magician various instructions in respect of the preparation of liquid fluid condensers, especially for their charging with magnetic fluids. Hahadu is very much liked in the kingdom of the Undines, that is the element of water, and should the magician ask for it, this head of the region of the water element can send him as many male and female servants as he may need for the realization of his wishes. Figure 45, Ominous, 210 Aries, makes the magician acquainted with various laws, powers and effects of the zone girdling the earth. It is from Ominous that the magician learns how to set the various powers in motion with the help of various methods and instructions. Ominous is a very generous intelligence very friendly with human beings and at any time willing to realize the wishes of the magician as far as it lies in his powers. Figure 46, Bicaro, 22 degrees Aries, by this intelligence the magician is endowed with the knowledge and wisdom of the zone girdling the earth, which only a few beings of that sphere are able to do. Bicaro has a specially high interest for justice and harmony and therefore is also able to assist the magician in the physical world in cases where justice is involved, either in legal matters or in other situations of life. Spirits of the storms and salamanders are very much afraid of him, since he is capable of revealing to the magician formulae by the application of which strong electrical and elemental effects can be brought about in the fire region of the zone girdling the earth which the most stubborn salamander spirit instantly makes submissive. If Picaro places any being of the salamander kingdom at the magician's disposal, such a spirit dash being of high intelligence, understanding and cleverness, will render the magician loyal service. Figure 47, Belifers. 23 degrees Aries, this head, like the two foregoing ones, is superior to the others in wisdom cleverness and sagacity and he teaches the magician to apply the laws of the zone girdling the earth, by the Akasha principle, to realize them in the physical world. Belifaz is always willing to help the magician in any respect. Figure 48, Nadel, 24 degrees Aries, is especially well acquainted with medical magnetism and reveals to the magician methods by which the most severe diseases can be cured by magic or by any other means. Nadel is not only a physician for the physical body of man, but can also teach the magician how he can help himself or any other person in any respect and in any situation of his life, by the help of the Akasha principle. This head is very much loved in the kingdom of gnomes and if a magician gets into contact with this kingdom by Nadel's assistance, even kings of gnomes place themselves at the magician's disposal. Figure 49, Romus, 25 degrees Aries, Two, is an expert in magical science, in particular a master of alchemy and spagyric. From Romus the magician learns how to prepare various herbs and roots in a spagyric and alchemical manner, and how to make these especially dynamic by the application of an electromagnetic fluid and by a special kind of vaulting. If the magician so wishes he will get instructions from Romus how, by the Akasha principle, to change causes within himself or within other people so that they have a less unfavorable influence on the mental, astral and sometimes even physical plane. Besides this, Romus teaches the magician how to change a person's fate and to carry out magical operations without their being impregnated into the Akasha principle to cause contra-effects. Romus, too, is beloved in the kingdom of gnomes, and all gnomes, especially those of the upper class meet this head with the highest respect. Figure 50, Hadku, 26 degrees Aries, is a master of mental and astral magic and teaches the magician how to make practical use, in the mental, astral and physical worlds, of extraplanetary powers for Venus purposes. Figure 51, Balichman, 27 degrees Aries, is an excellent initiator into synthetic astrology and reveals to the magician the most remote secrets of astrology. By this initiator the magician learns about the astrological influences on the mental and astral worlds, furthermore the opposite oscillations and vibrations of the various spheres with regard to the mental, 
astral and physical plane. The knowledge of the cosmic effects, on the mineral, the plant, and the animal kingdoms is also taught to the magician by this head, either directly or by intuition and inspiration. Figure 52, Jugular, 280 Aries, introduces the magician into the art of talismanology. From this head the magician learns to solve the most complicated symbols from the synthetic side. Apart from this, Jugular teaches the magician how to express truly by the appropriate symbol, each power and each being of the zone girdling the earth together with its qualities, or how to shape it into the correct graphic representation. At the same time he initiates the magician into the secret of making such symbols magically effective by various methods. Figure 53 Sekabmi, 29 degrees Aries, brings about various effects on the mental, astral, and physical plane by help of the magnetic fluid. This head is a master of the art of producing sense and can instruct the magician how to prepare, in the spagyric manner, not only medicines, but also scents from various plants. Figure 54, Kalaka, 30 degrees Aries, is the last head of this zodiacal sign. He teaches the magician how to treat various diseases with the element of water. Kalika is a master in hydrotherapy and is always prepared to assist the magician, theoretically and practically, in this field. Magicians dealing with naturopathy will find an excellent initiator in Kalika, who can reveal to them many secrets by intuition and inspiration, secrets which have remained unrevealed up to this date.